The office of the Speaker of Parliament of Uganda is as old as the Parliament itself. It started as Legislative Council in 1962, soon after the country's independence, comprising of the Speaker and his or her deputy. What makes these two legislators unique is the dress code when conducting business. Dress codes that many can hardly notice that they are two and serve different purposes. When you see these members of parliament, you will notice a difference in their attire from that of the speaker. If you're not so close to the speaker or you're not familiar with how things work, they normally look the same. But they in, actually, in fact, they have differences. And these are the differences that we're going to see right now. This Romanian robe, you can see that the robe itself, it is long. If you look at the robe, it is long. And on contrary to the, to the working robe, which is shorter, it's more, like, it's more like the judges, what they put on, it's more shorter. And when you look at the cloth that is inside, just look at it, you see the, it has the, the laces, and when you look at this one, it's just plain, you see, it's differences. And look at the golden linings on the sides of the, the gown. You can see these golden linings. This one, the official has the golden linings on the sides. On contrary to, to the working robe, which is just plain black. One is for national ceremonies, like the State of Nation Address, budget reading, and high-profile obituaries, while the other is for official work. Such functions, normally the speaker puts on like that. Both the deputy and the speaker, they put on like that. And uh, during working time when she's in the house, she or he puts on exactly like this. However, not all ceremonies call for that special attire from the speaker as there are instances when he or she is formally dressed. Andrew Weiswa, an official from Office of the Speaker, explains that these attires are in line with that of other Commonwealth countries. Yeah, they are not really, really so different. But, you know, uh, as we are under the Commonwealth-related things, they all put on almost the same. So we coped and we adopted that and that's what we saw. Uganda has had about 10 sessions of parliament since independence, with the exception of 1971 to 1979, when the rule was by decree under General Idi Amin Dada. All speakers leading these sessions have used this attire, with the current leadership of Rebecca Kadaga and Jacob Olanya observing the same. The annual parliament week, the third of its kind, is on with many stalls, including this, that details activities of the office of the speaker. Henry Okrut, UBC.